dudes! Dudes, what's up? So we're back here at this... <laughs> at the freaking room here, and I never really... I guess looked very closely at this thing, but the camera's not gonna let me, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. It doesn't really say anything at all, either. Because... Yeah, there's no point of reference, so... I guess it doesn't really matter. But, um, yep. Ben seems like he's gonna try to open the door. Clementine's gonna stay with him, so all I have to do is go with Molly here. Uh, to see if we can find a battery for our boat. So, while everyone else looks for their own stuff. That's, that's awesome. Now, um, there's obviously blood everywhere, which is never a good thing. Principles of Crawford. All illnesses and medical conditions must be disclosed to counsel. Children under 14 are not admitted. Jesus Christ! Yep. Well, I mean... This entire thing might actually be just uh, part of the ploy to, uh, from Molly to get us cornered or whatever. Um, or, you know, maybe a part of ploy to get us all here so that uh, Crawford's people can actually go to the house and get the boat. Like, if Molly is actually part of them and she's the fooling us... The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? If she's trying to fool us, then that would be the best plan to get us all here so that they can, uh, her team or her people can get the boat. So, you know, that might be a thing. Let me just open this up here first. If not, then she's just here to try to uh, get us killed. Um, you know, that, that's if she's bad, though. Uh huh. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Do I recognize him? Uh, See over now. I don't recognize him. But um, following f following my 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 manly intuition, <laughs> I am gonna I'm gonna say that you know what it might actually be that Mole is trying to lure us out here while her group steals our boat and our supplies at uh, at the house. So that's what I'm gonna go this with. But I'm gonna follow these obviously without. The auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Huh. Okay, so Molly just went in ahead. <laughs> There's a zombie just cruising over there. <laughs> Alright. Guess I'm not going that way. Yep, not. Looters will be shot on sight. The liver is made in rear. Okay, uh, authorized motor pull workers only. Man, they really do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's check out here. <laughs> I mean, these people seem way, way too organized to fall picked into a bunch of stupid zombies. Like, I don't think that's even, you know, possible. I mean, it is possible. It's just, I don't... It doesn't seem as likely. So, there's, climbing the fence isn't an so there ha there's obviously some indication that there's something fishy going on. Like, I don't believe it for a second that... It's all legit, they got attacked by zombies and got wiped out. It just doesn't make any sense. So I am dead sure that Molly is betraying us. I can just feel it in my pants. Um, so, here? I don't know. Well, the, the, the shadowy thing went this way, but it was way too fast for it to be a walker, so... Unless this is like Left 4 Dead or something. Um, yeah, okay, let me just get another quickie look here before I go up to the stairs again, just to make sure that I'm not really missing anything. Uh, this? <laughs> okay. Damn. Damn! Photo ID required beyond this point. Um, okay. Anything to do here? Yo! Can I, like, climb that? It seems like it. Uh, it's, it's gonna, probably gonna fall down if... Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> it surely tends to fall down, those type of things. Ah, like a boss with my butterfly and flower radio. <laughs> Alright, anything here? No. Yep. Damn. It's champ tight. Yeah, there's no way I'm carrying that up, so let's just... Uh... Oh, I can't... Okay. Nothing to do over here. Can't carry that thing. Whoop, no, it's just this. Ooh. <laughs> just 
chilling there. Don't get too close. All right, so there's nothing to do there either. Well, I'm already stuck in here. I don't think I can easily just go back. So there must be something that I can do in this area. Ah! Where that came from? Dude, look above. What are you doing? Leave him. He's mine. Huh? He's nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Seriously, is that what's the use of that dude? Oh, maybe someone she knew that she hated. Molly. Molly. What? Calm the fuck down. What's wrong with you? What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? Not like that. <laughs> this is someone she knew, probably. He's that wearing medical scrubs. Did something Some bad to her. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Oh, so she was... Wait, wait, so maybe she was pregnant and she had to leave the boy because she would be a... Uh, yeah, but the garage door's She would door's be jammed. a nuisance to Can't the team if she had a boy. Or a girl, or whatever. So that doctor was the one that aborted her son or daughter. Yeah, that might Not be a, a thing. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. <laughs> what a coincidence! Uh, 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 they saw us, honey. They saw us. What? <laughs> oh shit! That is, that is not a very good thing. Hurry! Down! Ah! Man, how are they so Come strong? On. How is that even possible? Well, if they're zombies, they don't—they don't, they maybe they don't have that like block from the brain that blocks your your muscles from doing the hundred percent of their work. There you go. Does they say that we only use like what seventy to eighty percent of our muscles? Because if we do more than that, then our muscles get like uh, they break or whatever. So maybe because they're zombies. They Take a look around. I'll make sure something. no stragglers get under the store. Sure, you, you do that. Out. Oh, dude, this is like what we need to carry our boat. If we still have one. Man, there's a lot of shit in here. We can probably take a battery out of the car, right? I can't reach it up there. <laughs> Lower it. <laughs> Jesus. Dumbass. No power. Uh huh. Okay, so we need power first. And we gotta do this quick, right? Or else. Shit, maybe I can get it from here. Cause there's no power. I don't, I don't know if there's anything I can do. Taking the battery off, it, it's it's really simple. Well, I can see oh, where the battery shit. should be, but it's not. Oh. Perfect. That uh, that's not a, maybe this one has it, but there's no way I can take it down. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Well, that means Good the chance of a working battery being in that car. Yeah. If I can find a way to get up there. Alright, so should I like push something or whatever? Because there's no electricity here. Um, and I feel like if I take too long, then maybe the zombies are gonna get through. Well, let's just go here because I don't think there's anything else I can do at this point. Let's see what there's beyond the. Nope. It's locked. Okay. No way in. Alright, I'll just take a look at things here. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Uh huh. Do we do? Uh. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? They lived. They that's the whole point. On the outside. Nobody. I don't. Well, I mean, I don't even know at this point. I don't know anything, girl. Give me some tips. Just a tip. Something you need? Uh, can I borrow your hook? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Well, who's Hilda? That's what I call oh. her. Don't Are you serious? Please, can I borrow Hilda? <laughs> that sounds like what? Give me a name. Give a scratch. Hilda. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Man, if you had a boy name, if the scratcher thing had a boy name, then then I would be a little bit more concerned about it. But I guess it's I can't okay. Reach it up there. Okay, so yep. Um, can I use the thing here? Okay. What am I gonna do? Oh, uh, that can't be a good. What? What did I do that? I did it. Uh huh. Whoa, whoa! whoa. I just wish I knew how engineering That's worked. That's probably not good. No shit. Oh shit. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. Hey, hey, 
Just the back. <laughs> Finally, something goes right. Get him, dude. Get him. Attention to the terminals. They fucking do it, dude. Jesus. Go, 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 yo, go, go. Still attached to oh my the my God. God. <laughs> Got that one off. <laughs> As if it was like it's a off. like an amazing feat. I just got it off! Got yes! It. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Oh shit. Put it in here, I'll carry it. No, no. Okay, how are we supposed me. to leave? How are we supposed to leave? Move your ass! Yeah, I can move my ass. I don't think it's gonna help. Jesus! No! There you go, nice, nice, nice. Good guy, good. Alright? Yeah. This is pretty fucked up. Something about oh. it. It's shot. Shoot it out. <laughs> I know. Pew, pew. Oh shit. Okay, so am I supposed to carry? No, she can. She can do that. I can't do that. Help me. Ah, oh, look, oh. she's freaking. She's pretty fucking strong. Holy shit. Okay, so now we're on a roof. <laughs> We're safe as it matters. Come on. Dude, that hook is like the best thing anyone could ever have, seems like. Holy fuck! I can't do that! Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. It's too far. Dude, are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> How is that even possible? That is bullshit! <laughs> Uh, sure, let's 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 believe that happens for a second. <laughs> no way, dude. No way. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Dude, I'm. You later. I'm telling Wait, you, you, she's still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly. Dude, she's bad. Dude, what the like, hell I is just, she doing? She's just conspiring with the other dudes and just taking the battery. Fuck, dude. I mean, that's really the... I don't know. Well, I don't know, because to be honest, if, the, if she was conspiring with the other dudes, uh, trying to get a battery, I mean, the other ones would already have a battery, so... I, so there's no reason for her to take the battery. I guess is you what I'm saying. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Seriously? After all I've been through, and just haven't even opened a goddamn nursery door? That's ridiculous. Like, these people are just completely useless. No one doing everything here. Anyway, let's go and, and check on, uh, check on Clementine. Little help! What? Little help here! Dude, 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 dude. Ah! ah! I hate when they- Oh, Q? What's Q? What the fuck is Q? Fuck, the doors won't close all the way! Alright, so we're blocked. Boom, right in the mouth! Oh, the thing! The thing! Grab the thing and put it in the thing! Ah! I freaking... Don't tell me to do Q again or I'll fucking kill you. Dude, I'm, I have an expert controller. Why is it telling me to do Q? What the fuck? Damn well better. There's so many of them. Where are they going from? Alright, but well, we're safe, right? This is what matters here. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Hey, I like Let's get that. the hell back to the classroom. Oh. Use a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Well, if we had the battery, then yeah, but the freaking Molly took it. And we still have to make sure the guys at the nursery are okay. You're back! Yeah! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. Still! I can go with that door. Not so good. Here, <laughs> I've been staring at this handle hand. for like three hours, man. <laughs> you Nothing get that yet. Battery yet. Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She better be. She better be. Or else we're fucked. We are fucked. Uh, okay, so let me just talk to Clementine here a little bit. Yo, girl. What's up, girl? You okay, Clem? Yo. Yeah. Everything okay? This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. Ah. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it. Being in school. I got you, girl. I got you. So do it's I. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey. I'm not that old, <laughs> and I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She bailed on us. Soon. I hope she's yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't trust that at She'll all. It doesn't really Things sound like... Do you think
think things will ever be normal again? No, no Just way. Just like the way they were before? No, does say no? Like, what am I supposed to answer? I think so. Let's yeah. just say a thanks just to make her happy, while, but... but yeah. I don't think I so. <laughs> There's no you. way. I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Alright, so I already talked to Clementine. Maybe I can help this useless dude find a way into this door because so I'm the only one able to do anything what do we still around need? here. We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So is that what I have to go? I have to go and so help So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran Dude, I already to told something. you. Well, she'd better bring it back here. That's exactly what you said I don't you know why before. you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. What has she done for me lately? What, do you want a blowjob or something? Dude, can you just fucking trash people no, here? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Okay, what? Dude, what is what? it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. Okay. He's a good guy, you know? And Dude, he's like Kenny right there. What I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. Dude, this <laughs> again? That is it's not my good. Fault Duck and Katja got killed. No. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be. Or alive. actually. How am I supposed to just tell Yeah, you know what? Just tell him. I have and to tell uh, him. he'd probably kill you, and we would be one person less. You should tell him. I agree. I think you should tell <laughs> Dude, we need. Just straight up, dudes. Now. We need one. We you need like two it, persons please. less. So. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I can't, I can't do it, man. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's going to lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. <laughs> and that time is when we're out and his influence does not matter to us I at all. Because you. we still need him. I'm going to get back to this. We still need him to fix the boat. So if he loses it and, you know, whatever, then... There's no boat! <laughs> so that's bad. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... I, I guess we can help the guys... Uh... Get some medicine. I mean, there doesn't seem really seem like there's anything else for us to do at this point. I don't want to talk to that chick. Uh, or whatever. Let's see. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. No problem, compadre. Team. Um, blah, 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 yeah, I'll be back. whatever. I'm not really Thanks interested you. in whatever Good she luck. has to say. <laughs> Let's go ahead and help the other dudes, because that seems like there's gonna be some action there. The my oh, the game is saving. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So it seems like I was right. Might be something happening around here. There's something on the floor. Oh, they're still on the door. Ooh. Freaking creepy. I could open it. Like, why would I ever do that? Oh, maybe I can use this. Batteries. Been fired. Oh, worthless. Okay. But those, those weren't there before, were they? Because if they were not, then I don't know. I didn't see it. And there's still something in here that I want to open. But <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, at least they got inside. But where's this guy's coming from? I believe the entire place was shut down. Shut off. So. Well, I... What? Okay, uh, I cannot shoot them. I don't think it would be good at all if I... Yeah, that's definitely not the way to do things around here. Um, can I... Do I have another option, though? Because it's not giving me any other option. Dude, what the fuck? There... There is literally no... Nothing else I can do. Um... I guess, I guess here goes nothing then. I mean, Jesus. All right, so who seems here the most aggressive? That that woman over there seems to be hungry. Okay. No uh, what? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Boom. Dude. Yeah, that was, that's actually kind of fun though. I, I like those. I wish there was like more than those. It's just the second time they do that. They should seriously do more of those. Oh, hey, dude, 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 it's a me! It's a me! What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. My the whole God. place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. So, Take no meds? Or they're, they're locked? 
Can you just Looks fucking like open anything here, all dude? Prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. It's like a. Can we just There's bust no it way open? we can bust it open. Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just serious? wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find oh anything well, useful. Well, I mean, seriously, like, all of this is just to try and save Omid, and he's still dead. Like, I'm pretty sure by the time we go back, he's just gonna be dead anyway, so... Ugh. Anna Korea. Anna Korea. She must have been a patient here. Dude, that's like a four-digit number right there, so... Um, can I just use that? Well, there's a lot of things on the floor, though. But, uh, <laughs> it's just the gun for that. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. It's not gonna grab it or anything? No. Alright, so this is... Because I'm still pretty certain that this is where they, uh... Of what happened to Molly about the doctor or whatever Burn that she was killing. Krista, come look at she this. She may have been pregnant before. This is day 82 oh, since no. the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Oh wait, is she Why are Molly? You this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Could she be Mo Molly with a different name? Like, As you know, the rules are name? very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Emma, well, well she could technically just leave the place, now, if right? You like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. She's just looking at the wall like... I don't want to see her face. But, uh... Might be. She might be her. I don't know. Maybe she's... Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. Well, they don't I seem to I recognize, recognize that her. Doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. Are you serious? Okay, so I should like go back to where the um to where that guy Died and so she's okay. That's that's cool. But I mean, the, the the lead didn't recognize her, so she definitely can't be um, Molly, right? Otherwise, they would recognize her. They all look the same to me, but because of the art style. But if the character didn't recognize them, then I, I guess there's no use in that. Uh, okay. If I remember, this is where we actually went out. To where the motor shop is. Yep, it's saving. So there's something happening here. Alright. It still doesn't explain the shadow pe person that uh, appeared behind us there, unless it was actually Molly, but there's no reason for Molly to be that that weird on us. I don't know. Or maybe there is. <laughs> Holy shit! Ah. Ah. Yeah, no way I'm oh, I'm missing a hat. <laughs> a TV just happened to fall on their face, and he's not even gonna. So wait, it just fell from the stand, or okay? I thought someone had threw it from the top. All right, how lucky was I? <laughs> All right, so the the body, oh, he's still there. Oh, how lucky are we? <laughs> just crawl his way there, but just enough so that he wouldn't be out of sight. Let me just kill him with my super super shoe. Ah, oh, fucking nasty. All right. So what do you have? Maybe a key or something. Okay. 
So is that it? This might be just what we need. Might be. What's this? Looks like some kind of code. There you go. But Vernon said the safe oh, four numbers. only four numbers. Huh. Oh, shit. You didn't see me? Shit. Time to go. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right, guys. I guess in the next episode, we'll open that safe and see what's up. And maybe the staple will tell us what we need to do. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you all stay gamers. And we'll see you guys next time. Yo dudes, what's up? So, I was having this discussion with a good old friend of mine um, about animals and, and plants and whether we should have the right to kill animals, plants, or neither of them. And it was something that I guess caught my mind, something that I find very interesting, because I do enjoy this type of debates a lot. Uh, this type of discussions and philosophy and whatnot and I wanted to I guess talk a little bit about it here because I know that some of you guys are actually uh, very interested in that so I'm putting this in the end of the video for those of you who actually want to listen to it um, and obviously listen to what you guys have to say about it but the whole concept surrounded the fact that for whatever reason we have this selected compassion in us where we actually we have like this this kind of staircase imagine a staircase in which we 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 put humans higher in this pedestal than say dogs and then cats and then cows and pigs and it just keeps going down in 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 the sense of we care less for these things like you have cows then you have like insects then you have plants like we don't actually give a shit whether we step on a plant and you know accidentally kill it or not we we really actually don't care um most of the time we we step on ants or insects and and we we look at them in this cause and and, and disgust and and we we don't care whether they die or not but then um if a dog dies we 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 obviously cry you know we we care a lot and when you kill a human, it's it's somehow like this this huge huge deal, and it should be obviously. My issue and something that I guess it would be awesome to hear what you guys have to say is, I have this this problem with not caring for other living things that are not, you know, cute. <laughs> it's something that bothers me. Like for example, plants. They plants are living things. They they get energy, energy from the sun. Some of them even kill insects to get nourishment. Like, they, for all terms and purposes, they're alive. They actually do have some sort of nervous system, even though uh, it's very rudimentary. They, they still feel up to a point. So it kind of, it's kind of weird thinking about why we don't care about plants. We don't... We... It doesn't matter whether we eat them or not. And we somehow do for animals that have uh, brains or they have you know feelings because it's kind of it's kind of a cherry picking kind of deal when you start thinking about okay so it's okay to kill uh plants but not animals because animals can think like how does that work is there like an arbitrary bar that goes okay so you have to be this smart for people to care if you die like i don't understand how that works so it's okay to kill someone who can't feel is that how it works because it's it's kind of i don't like the uh the, the logical system of this is okay, but the other one is not, you know? I mean, imagine imagine if there is a god, right? Imagine if you go to hell for whatever reason, and depending on how many things you killed, you would be set up on a different part of hell. So imagine, imagine going to like, for example, the third circle of hell, and you would be like compared with these other people. And, and you would be like, okay, so I am with this, I'm in hell with this guy who killed one person because I killed 90 puppies. And it's like, how does that work? Like, is that, is that how it, like, depending on how many, how many, say, like, people without feelings you killed is equal to a person with feelings? Like, I don't understand how something has more merit than another. Why um, killing a person, it's more important in the grand scheme of things than killing, say, an ant. I don't understand what is the actual difference. 
because when you start thinking about it, we we are not really smart people. Like when you when you grab the whole concept of the universe and how much time it took for our brains to evolve into the way they are now, like just add like a billion years, and the ants that you were killing would probably be like us in terms of evolution and brain power. Like it's just honestly, when it's just a matter of time, that is all the difference between you know one race or the other then I don't know it, it, it would be like it would be like if it would be okay to kill a kid because he he's not smart and he doesn't know what's what's happening so it's okay whether when it just takes like you know like 10 years for him to realize what's going on you know like time it's it's all arbitrary 10 years 4 billion years it's all the same really it's it's all it's all life so the difference between, you know, a a pig that right now it's dumb, and in four billion years, you know, pigs would be smart by raw evolution, maybe. You know, I mean, this is obviously you know, a, a huge maybe, but I don't understand that concept of it is okay to kill this because of this, but it's not okay to kill that because of that. I think it's all it's all just dumb, and honestly, it's 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 something that. I mean, it's obviously hard for me to just talk about this, um, just just out of my brain, just just picking it off and putting it here. It's easier to write these type of things and make it more constructive. But I want to hear what you guys say about it, what you guys think of this. I know that a lot of you guys have been asking for more philosophical um, commentaries, and I, don't, I didn't really want to make a whole video for this. I just wanted to add it here for those of you who actually do want to listen to this. But um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.